tonight away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Bank Holiday Monday. It will not be Bank Holiday Monday, obviously, by the time this video goes up, but it's currently Bank Holiday Monday and it is the first day, like the first proper day, that I'm out of my isolation, finished COVID. If you've not heard from me since my last video, you might be really confused, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen. <sighs> I got back from Mexico and I got bloody COVID. I mean, am I shocked? No. I feel like this country is like riddled with it but I literally went from the airport to my home and tested and I was positive so who knows where I got it you'll probably see from the last vlog that I wasn't really that well I had an inkling but obviously I tested when I was in Mexico and I was fit to fly kind of thing so don't really know what happened there now I'm getting ready to start my life a week later. So I've been back from Mexico a week. I initially wanted to do a last week of the year video. Um, yeah, that was a write off. I did actually start to vlog. I got the camera out, done a little clip. And then I was like, oh, honestly, I feel like this is painful. Like it was just so down and depressing. And I was like, no, it's the end of the year. I'm not doing it. So. I was like, I'm not going to put pressure. I will come back better than ever next year, as in a couple of days later. I put a poll on my story last night and just said I'm a bit torn what video to upload first for the new year. Like, do you want a day with me? Which I thought people would choose because everyone loved Vlogmas so much. So vlogs are just so chill and fun and easy. And they're my favourite videos ever to watch. Like, I constantly just watch people's vlogs. Or another option was a get rid of me, but like updated life, do a little bit of a QA, and a updated makeup, because I've changed my makeup look a little bit since I've done my last get rid of me. And this vlog got more people wanting this, but I will eventually do both. But I did want to do this video and come back with the video to explain what is going to be going on in January, because it's not going to be like my normal channel. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different this month on my channel because of my documentary which you will see little bits of today today is going to be the last day of filming it was supposed to be all wrapped in end of november which it kind of was but basically over december since then i've seen like snippets i've seen drafts and i'm so happy with how it's coming together but there's just little pieces that I want to add. So I saw a draft. I watched pretty much the majority of the first episode. And I was like something's missing. And I really wanted to get someone involved. Like someone external. Which you'll see today. And someone with a background of drugs in their life. That is still here to tell the tale. So we've managed to get someone who is so perfect for what I was envisioning. I actually put it on my story and so many people recommended a guy called Paul Hannaford. So if you recommended him, thank you so much. I'm so excited to meet him today and be working with him. I don't want to say too much, but yeah, you'll see that today. And as we go through the vlog, I will explain what is going on this month and what you can expect from me. I don't want to make this get rid of me because you guys voted for a vlog and I'm actually getting ready right now but it is about half eight my phone is on charge because Cass stole my charger in the night so yeah it's about half eight got up at eight getting ready to head over to my uncle's for ten and we're going to do a little bit more filming with him and today you can just see everyone see what is going on it's mainly going to be documentary stuff today but you get a super sneak peek because I know so many people are so excited and I've had so many DMs like please release the date it's coming out and I hope by this week 100% there'll be a date for the first episode. All ready for the day. 
I feel so good being able to wear makeup. Well, I could have worn makeup last week, but not worn makeup in over a week. First makeup of 2022. Also, Happy New Year. May this year bring you happiness, joy, and success. I'm buzzing for a new year. But yeah, ready to go. Feeling fresh. How are you feeling, Cass? Tired. He had another crazy night the other night. And I think he's recovering two days later. But I feel fresh because I've slept every day, all day. COVID actually like revitalised me. But well, ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Between that and I know the second episode is when me and Joel come. Right, okay. Yeah, There's so, a whole like yes, eight I know. So Trina, years, yeah. talk to me, talk to me. We were talking yesterday, so the bit that Sid is missing is from, so Ibiza happens. Yeah. They I go moved too much because you turn your microphone in and out and stuff. We are filming the final snippets for the documentary today. I've got the whole gang here. Well, half the gang are in the town now. We've got Elliot. If you didn't know, this is my videographer, Elliot. Hello. How's it been working with me? It's been actually really good. <gasps> he was like, <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a... It's been, it's been great, actually. It's, um, no, it's been fun, hasn't it? It hasn't, been, it hasn't actually been that stressful. Everything's been a breeze. It's been super fun. I'm really enjoying it. But it's not finished yet. Can you tell anyone any sneak information or...? <sighs> Everyone's hounding me when it's coming. You got to ask this yeah. guy. We'll oh, let you know. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He does. But it's going really well. We've done a couple hours filming. Cass is slumped on the sofa again. Back in his place. Got Poppy oh, here. Hi, Poppy. <laughs> Where's your scarf from? Because I feel like everyone's gonna ask. Because I was gonna ask. Um, I think it's from it's River Island. River Island. Green <laughs> scarf from River Island. And Lee's about to film. We've just had Teresa and Mad filming. You guys have to wait. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, today's the last day. Well, today is gonna be the last day of actual filming. Then it's just editing, and we're meeting someone really cool today. We said we are. We're meeting this guy that. I'm so excited about, but we're both a little bit like, are we scared? <laughs> Lee! <laughs> <laughs> Was that the top you were wearing? Yeah. Yes. 100%. Yes, <gasps> People know the secrets. Yeah, it's, not all, it's not all filmed in one day. <laughs> but yeah, it's going really well. We're going to break for some lunch in a little while. And um, yeah, sadly Nan can't be involved, so she's still on her final days of COVID. But she'll be back and better than ever soon. And... Let's keep it going. So, as a drug user, did you ever think, wow, this could kill me, or this is eventually going to kill me? Just got home. Wow, am I oily? Or am I oily? We have not stopped all day. It is 19.47 and the lighting is awful. And we left here at nine. So it's been a long day, but it's been such a good day. Today is officially the final, final, final day. Obviously there wasn't loads I could vlog today. I thought I would vlog a little bit more, but the priority was just getting the documentary done and making the most of the people that I was filming with today. So I was filming a little tiny bit more with my auntie Teresa today and then one of my mum's friends, Madeleine, and then also Paul Hannaford, who honestly, I'm mind blown. I honestly like didn't want to cry today and I did cry today. And I thought I might end up being on camera, that's why I've got makeup on, but I didn't actually need to do anything today. So I was just kind of there, directing and whatnot. It was just so good. Honestly, this guy, Paul, if you've not heard of him, you will see him throughout my documentary. And I think we're going to aim to get the first episode up next week. Follow me on Instagram and keep an eye on my socials and stuff. And I will obviously put out a specific date. I just need to give Elliot, my videographer, just a bit of time to put everything together, tie all the loose ends. Don't want to give out a date until we know 100 million percent. Oh, I'm excited. But yeah, Paul was the icing on the cake. He has lived through so much. His life story really mirrors my mum's. 
and obviously she's not here to tell the tale so his version of events was so good wasn't he so good yeah he's sick so good right cool guy. we literally all sat and was just watching him like as he was talking like it's if you can't like the documentary and you want to see a bit about him in his instagram bio he does have a website and it just gives a little bit of his story and he goes and talks to schools and his aim is to teach a million kids about drugs in his lifetime while he's got the chance and yeah having him a part of this documentary is just such an honor and if if i can help him get his million kids then I hope I can. And also, obviously, he's helping with the dog and stuff like that. And, yeah. But today went well, didn't it? Yeah, it was really a lot. It was it was a lot. But, yeah, like I said, it's late now. We need to have some dinner. And also, Cass's Christmas presents just come. So, why not? Why don't we just open that on camera? He thought I didn't get him a Christmas present. You didn't. I did get him a Christmas present because it's right here. <laughs> here it is. I'm actually going to... Wheel it in. Wheel it? It's, it's, not, it's not wheelable. I'm going to roll it in and I'm going to... I'm going to get it out of the main box because there should be another box inside and then we'll um, we'll see. So all of a sudden this has become a day in the life vlog, behind the scenes vlog. Well, it's not... I mean, it was supposed to be, but it hasn't ended up being that. But that's okay. Just getting back into the swing of things. Who knows what this will be. But now it's going to be a gift swap. But... <laughs> You guys saw what I got for Christmas. I got time. a Louis Vuitton brace. On time. Backstory. If you didn't see the vlog, Mrs. And you didn't see the Christmas Day vlog, I'll link it down below. Or it was literally the last video. We had a pact. No Christmas presents because we're going to Mexico. And we literally... I did keep checking. I said, are you sure we're not going to do presents? No, we're not doing presents. We're going away. That's silly. Can we take presents away? No. I wake up on Christmas Day and there's a Louis Vuitton bag on the side. Obviously very lovely, very, very grateful. I love it, thank you so much. However, not the, and you don't buy to receive, you don't, yeah. But there was one thing that I had in mind and I was gonna wait till his birthday, but I was like, why not? You've been very lovely lately, so. What is it, 942? No, it is not. Let me go grab it. Where is it, what is in the box? Yeah. Why is it so big? I don't actually know why it's this big. Wait, you got. A, let's play a guessing game. It's got a bow on it. Nice. Wait, why is it so big? <laughs> the puffer coat. Do you not want to guess? The puffer coat. Puffer coat. Like a. That's your guess, yeah. Yeah. I'm just this first, yeah. Maybe there's. Hold on. I don't know if there's a receipt or if there's. Maybe that's for you. Oh, open me and important document. It's gonna be a receipt, no? Are you talking about his trainers? <laughs> no, you haven't read the note! <laughs> turn it over, turn it over! Don't cheat! I just read it, it said you, you're talking about needing new white trainers. Oh! What size am I? Because why is this box I so I don't know big? why the box is so big. Apparently I ruined it massively. And I put this in. So it says, Merry Christmas, I love you. You need some nice white trainers badly, LOL. From I just bought some white Air Force. What do you think they are? What do you think it is? Well, it, there's a gift receipt, so... Does that mean if I like them? Yeah, you can, you can change them. And I hope they fit, because it was really hard to remember your size. So if you're wondering why he's getting it so late, it's because obviously I had COVID and this little boy was living his best life whilst I was tucked up in bed all week. <laughs> a lot of people DM me like, why is Cass not being there for you and isolating? And I was like... Because he's selfish. He, bad, he prefers the drink over me. Yeah, kind of like what we've had though. Where's the other? I just I saw it. 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 Oh, that was wrapped nicely in there actually, wasn't it? Very yeah. padded. Da -da 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 -da. Same as you got. Yeah, right. Now, do you know why I was confused? Because these are a uh, nine, but you know I know you you like eight and a half, but I thought it's better to go up a bit. Yeah, yeah. But you've been wearing some recently, which are forty-three. So I was really confused. Wait, so what size is this? 
A nine. Nine, okay. And what was I? But try them on. You was wearing a ten. But you told me you were an eight and a half. I looked on, back on our texts. But if you don't like them, we can obviously change them. Absolutely. But I do think you need one. I ate it perfectly. Do they? Yeah. And I've got so much wear out of mine. So I just think you'll wear you know them what? so much. I feel like these shoes, yeah, and Balenciaga, um, and off-white shoes, you can get away with them once they've got, like, and a bit used, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they look so good. So for those wondering, these are the tracks, but I think they're the track twos. So they've got new tracks which don't have the number, the size on the top. So as you can see... Oh, yeah, my mum's put a picture to Gucci. What? My dad's <laughs> So... So as Cass has opened these shoes, his mum sent in this. Saying that his dad's got new shoes. <laughs> so here are mine. I've had these like two years and they're still going strong. I love them. Let me look at the colour different. Puff. No, they're not too grubby actually. No, but I feel like they just look like they don't look it even if they are. Oh, they do look it on camera. Thank you very much. Have I redeemed myself? <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything anyway. So they have it, a Christmas gift swap without seeing me open mine, but I did get one, I promise. And then that is pretty much all we're doing today. I think we're going to get food, but you don't want to cook, do you? And I don't want to cook because we've had a really long day. So should we just get a takeaway? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> it is. Anyone else on Monday of January and still not started their um, healthy eating yet? Because, um, same. So I've decided to make up for the lack of vlog in this video. I am going to vlog a little bit tomorrow as well. Getting back into the swing of things. First proper day of January back to work and I say work because I don't actually have that much work to do tomorrow my week kind of starts getting busier on Wednesday for some reason but I'll tie some loose ends and update you guys with a couple more things I want to go through my goal board actually and then that can be my two-day video you know I love a two-day vlog after vlogmas but that is it from us today we've had a very busy day I'm very tired oh and look what Cass is wearing as well Rep him. 48, 49, unfortunately sold out, but we'll be back. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. and I have had the most boring day vlog wise I thought I don't know why I thought these last couple of days would be interesting to vlog but I have put the content together what I've got so far and to be fair there is actually quite a bit there and there's enough for a vlog but I obviously said I would vlog a little bit today and I'll talk you through my day just so you know that I just wasn't purposely not vlogging I had a big clean and tidy up this morning. I got some snippets of that. And I was very proud of myself because my flat actually looked really aesthetically pleasing. And I never get it like that because I'm always so busy. And Cass helped me out, which was really nice before he went to work. And then since he's been gone, I've literally been back to back all day long doing stuff for 48, 49, planning all of the next couple drops and just finalizing my samples and stuff like that. So it's A, stuff I can't really show you, which is just the most annoying thing I know to hear from an influencer. And then also just me with my head in my laptop. So not ideal for this video, but I thought I'd be honest with you and still turn the camera on and have a little chat because I still didn't really update you on what's happening in January. I think it's because I'm still not really sure. It's really hard when I don't know the dates myself. I'm not in control of the documentary. I'm also working alongside a videographer, as you'll know. So obviously I'm working to his timeline as well. It's most definitely coming out in January. My plan originally for January was to not upload any of my normal content and just have a 
documentary episode a week i think we're gonna have four episodes obviously there's hours and hours of footage if there ends up being a little bit more it potentially might end up being five episodes or four longer ones or it could potentially end up being three episodes but that's something that i will update you on within due course and also i will definitely be posting the dates very soon I watched the clips back from me talking last night and I just want to, I think it's quite clear, but just in case there is a little bit of confusion, my excitement and my, when I'm like, oh my God, it was so good today, is that so much has gone into this. Just So to see it all come together and see my vision come to life and to see the passion and just everything that's going into it is a really rewarding feeling for me. Obviously, it is such an emotional story and it is horrible. It's essentially my mum's death and the hardest part of my family's life that I'm putting on the internet. But I know deep in my heart that this will help people and I know that this will open people's eyes and I'm willing to put this really vulnerable side out there if it means I can help others and also meeting with Paul Hannaford yesterday like it brought me to tears just seeing him be so honest with us and telling us his story and he looked me dead in the eye and was like you are going to change lives like if one thing comes from your mum's death it will be that lives will be saved like as horrible as it is and a life had to be lost and it was my mum's life that had to be lost in order to save lives if I can look at it that one thing has come good from that it's hopefully going to be this so yeah it's been so so many hours sleepless nights thinking am I doing the right thing my family thinking am I pushing my family too hard with this this has been so difficult for my nan my uncle like this is our lives and as much as people are excited to see this it is something that we've all lived through and I'm excited to put it out but I don't want my emotions to be misconstrued is that the word and twisted into like me being excited over being emotional and sad about something that's been so tragic in my life I hope that makes sense I don't even know if I needed to say that but yeah, I just don't want it to get confused. But yeah, once the documentary airs and the first episode comes out, until the documentary finishes, I won't be putting out any YouTube videos just because I think it's going to be a lot and I don't want to mix up my channel too much with my normal vlogs and my more fun, like hearted content. I kind of want the documentary to come out in a block and i'll be over on my instagram as normal so if you're missing my content sydney may crouch follow me on instagram but as soon as the doc's done my content will be back to normal but that's just something i always had in my head i just wanted the documentary to have its moment i think it deserves that i think my family deserves that i think elliot deserves that my videographer and i just want it to sit and shine on its own so yeah, I will have a couple weeks off YouTube, essentially, but I will still be working and I will probably be vlogging, but it might come out in February. Oh, amazing! My camera just died. I just charged it quickly for a little while, but I want to get this video up tonight, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Like I said, yeah, I'm going to be... If anything exciting happens in January, I'll vlog it and I'll save it and I'll upload it in February, but I'll probably have one more video up, I think. So I know... A lot of people want me to talk through my goals, um, my goal board for 2022 and also like life updates. People want to know if, if I moved any further with viewing properties and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do a QA and a of some form this weekend as one more video before the documentary and then I will have so much more updates in that. Maybe get rid of me, whatever you guys would fancy. So comment down below or dm me and let me know what you'd like to see and subscribe if you haven't already but thank you guys so much for watching hit thumbs up if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye guys 
Also, yes, I am wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. When you move out on your own, you'll realise there's a lot of washing. 